What's up guys, so it's a little dots and this is a tutorial on uh, a transition text effect on After Effects and I'm using After Effects CS6 seeing as I haven't got a 64 bit computer but it will work on any, you just need the plugin trap code form and this is what we're going to be making, it was in my uh, last intro and it's just all the particles coming together nice and softly and creating your logo or text and what you want to do is just start off by going into your After Effects and start a new composition which is uh, 1920 by 1080 and 10 duration 10 second duration and what you want to do is just import your logo as you see I've got mine there or you can write your text with the text tool and just drag that in and what you want to do after that is just resize it to where you want it to stand after the particles finish so I want it to stand about there and that'll be fine for me and what you want to do after that is just get your layer and copy it over three times by hitting control C and control V and renaming the first two to one and two and then you want to start a new uh, solid and hit OK on that. And after you've done that, just drag over your trap code form. And that will go on there like that. And click base form and change the X and Y to your size of your uh, intro, which is mine's 1920 by 1080 and the size of the Z you want it as 0 and the particle by X you want it to be 500 and particles in Z I mean uh, Y as 400 and Z as 1 and that's it for now for base form as I can think of yeah that's cool and go into particles and down to your size change that to 2 and come out of particles for now and then go to your uh, fractal field and not fractal field um, layer maps and you want to go to no actually you want to go to fractal field don't go to layer maps yet go over to fractal field and what you want to do is keyframe the x y and z and you want to change the the flow of uh, the flow z to 50 and you want to change the F scale to 13 and that's it for that and you want to keyframe the 3 of the flow X, Y and Z and go over to your um, your layer maps and go to color and alpha and just get rid of that and you want to change the layer to 1 and the functionality to RGBA to RGBA and the map over by XY and you want to close up color alpha and go to displacement and change the functionality to individual x y and z and the map over to x y and the layer for z you want to put on 2 and keyframe the keyframe the strength and you just want to come out of form for now and get rid of that and what you want to do is click your black solid and your form solid hit you on that and it should come up with your effects and 
uh, what you want to do is set that as 50 1,800 and 2,000 for the start uh, change that to 1,000 and you want to drag them over to maybe I'm going to do mine as two seconds two seconds that's cool maybe two and a half maybe one and a half and uh, I'm just going to keyframe at the start to zero 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 and zero and zero again and you want to go to three seconds and change it to zero again so zero all the way down and hit enter on that and now you should see you should see something uh, no actually get rid of the zeros and change them to the start of your composition and if you go back on that that should be working no it's not working is it hmm why is that not working I realized what I did wrong and it was the flow I keyframe the flow instead of the displacement and what you want to do is just change your displacement mode to X Y and Z individual and and then keyframe the X Y and Z displace instead of the flow <laughs> which was my fault I just got a bit confused that's all and I'm just gonna close down my uh, form and I'm going to click my black solid again and just hit you again and open up the displacement oh one second guys I just I just unkeyframed something that wasn't meant to be unkeyframed uh, um, that's it strength I forgot to keyframe it like an idiot But anyway, carry on. Check you on that, and it should be 50 strength. And you want to keyframe your X displacement to uh, 1000, and your Y to maybe I'm gonna do it as 2500. And no, actually, I'm going to do that to 600. And the Z displacement, I'm going to do as 2500. Maybe if it looks cool, <laughs> right? And after you've done that, you just want to go to your three second frame and keyframe all of your uh, keyframes. Uh, to zero, 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 and what you shall have is it coming? Wait, let me change that to that maybe. And what you'll have is a really awesome, like particle transformation into your your logo or text. And um, what you want to do is click on. Yeah, bottom layer which, which is my isolated arts uh, 2014 logo and you want to go on you want to click T and which will come up with a opacity and you want to hit you back on your black solid so you know where your keyframes are and just go over to uh, about three maybe three frames before before the actual particle comes together and um, what you want to do is click uh, the keyframe of your opacity on your logo and click that as zero and go down to your 
frames of your displacement and change the opacity to 100% like so and as you have done that it should be it should be what you can do is get rid of your two and one and that should make it look a lot nicer and after you've done that just go on your black solid again and click T and keyframe the opacity as 100 and down to your opacity of your formal layer and hit zero and what you should have if I just quickly render this out it shouldn't take too long because it's only three seconds but it does look awesome on intros I haven't even tried it with my new logo and already I can see it looking awesome I used it on my last intro and it looked sweet you can just add some 3d text letters or anything else uh, before you even put this effect to use but you can use it for all different types of stuff text transformations maybe you could move the angle of the camera and change that about so it's like more free dimension it'll look awesome uh, as you know all my videos have got deleted but I'm still going to be uploading tutorials just like this one so uh, right guys this is nearly finished now so and it looks pretty awesome I'm I'm not even joking this is on third resolution it looks pretty cool already and it as you can see it like moves into one maybe it's a bit a bit too big on the scale of it but it looks pretty awesome as you can see there it goes all together and just mashes up together I think I'm gonna move the bottom key down to the same height because as you see here just don't it is not the same size as the original so you want to move that and get that perfect like so and that should be fine awesome and change that up to full just so that you can see the particles and how they are working to create your logo or anything like that and so after you've done that you can click your I think it's motion blur and click that on your particle layer and just look back at that and as it will as it moves it will blur a little bit as the like the movement of the particles takes place and it looks really nice as it comes together and you can even add a background or anything like that uh, I'm just going to show you a quick background that you could do maybe on it uh, just add a black solid and put that to the back and go to your effects and go down to generate where's generate there and go down to oh not scribble effect generate ramp and yeah click ramp and what you want to do is instead of linear ramp you can do linear ramp but I'm just going to do uh, a radial ramp and you want to hit up the size of I think it's that one no uh, just move it down see as you see this little point here I'm going to move it to the center of the logo and I'm going to change the white to black and the black the star color to a dark mystic red a nice red and what you want to do is turn that on uh, not that one, uh, turn that one on is it that one? yeah maybe I'm going to make the red a bit brighter so I can see it and if you look at that now if you look at that now it looks awesome and you can make it look even better like 
adding effects on it, motion blurs and stuff like that. Looks totally awesome and looks awesome on the intro. And this is just a quick tutorial to show you guys a really nice effect that you could do on your logos, your text, anything like that. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. Like and comment below. If you want some more, comment below on what you want uh, to see, maybe on Photoshop, Cinema 4D and stuff like that. Uh, thanks guys, cheers.